in the time after King Arthur. Country Wine Deep into the springtime of Gaul stood Alexis with Jelaine in her homeland as they paused on their journey to the Mystiful Isles. Deep into the springtime of Gaul stood Alexis with Jelaine in her homeland as they paused on their journey to the Mystiful Isles. Jelaine, we have reached our day's summit. Let us pass some few days here at our vintner's home. April can be such a cruel month, but the first warm day seems to make up for all of winter's cold. We are all alone here this fine day, Alexis, my dear, for none other have discovered it, and you own the vineyards. I will call on the vintner's wife and let us hope against all hope that some of last year's vintage wine still remains. And I see that there is an outside table on the hill which calls to show us a flowering but leafless view of all of Burgundy County. And she went on, How quiet it is here, Jelaine. I hear naught but birds' cries and the echoes of carts on the road far below and across the river. Jelaine, we were made for a day like this. Imagine a lazy day now, so early in the spring. Yes, I own the winery today, as I do many of Lancelot's deeded holdings, but I certainly cannot keep them all. Starting with these vineyards and its castle, I shall give most of the holdings back to the French people, for this is what my father intended to do. And won't the vintner be surprised, exclaimed Jelaine, for he did not realize in his good service, which of course he gives to all, that his landlord drank his wine. Now, as owner rather than renter, he can but only aspire all the more to brew the most heavenly of tastes. The day flowed like wine swirling, then fresh smelling bouquet and sipping smooth with the swallow or the swizzle spit of the coming rain, the five S's of wine. Said Jelaine, there's nothing like country wine in wine country to drink it where it is so carefully cherished and nurtured as a tender grape, and so appealing.